Hello my people, welcome to another tutorial. My name is Agnes in case you're new to this channel. In today's tutorial, I will show you how I made this polo shirt stroke dress. The length is up to you. You can either make it long to be a dress or short as just a t-shirt or a polo shirt, whatever you want to call it. But I just love how it looks. I used the granny stitch. However, I modified it instead of three double crochets, I used two double crochets so that it's not too heavy and it just uh, flows nicely. My best part about it, I think, is the collar. I really love this collar. I, yeah, and I hope you like it too. So we are going to dive straight into the tutorial. I will tell you how you can make it in different sizes, of course. Uh, we will need our hips measurements if you're making it as a dress and then bust measurements if you're making it as a, a t-shirt. You can also make this for kids, for men, for whoever you want. I will let you know how you can do that. I think I'll put this part at the very last six minutes of the tutorial. Okay, this is where we'll put this. But for now, let's dive right into the dress. All right, so for this tutorial, I'm going to be using this yarn from Volidu. You can get it on their website, which is volidu.de. It's available in Europe. Uh, it's 100% cotton, 50 grams, 125 meters. I used nine skeins for my extra small. It recommends 2.5 to 3.5 millimeter hook. I used 2.5 and the color is 19. So the hook size I'll be using 2.5. You can use up to 3.5 with this yarn or you can pre replace this yarn with something like Alize Diva Plus, okay, if you're from the US. All right, so this is how we are going to work it. We'll start from the bottom. So we will work a foundation chain which is equal to your hips measurements, okay? And uh, we will just work rounds and rounds until we get to this part where we need to make our sleeves. Then we'll cut it into three. We have the back panel and then the two front panels because we need this slit for the for the collar. And then we'll work the sleeves, uh, just the ribbing on the sleeves. All right. And once we are done with that ribbing of the sleeves, then we will also do on the other side and then the collar and then basically that will be it the collar is is like in two different parts as you can see we have this uh, part at the bottom and then the longer part at the top and the stitch is quite easy so you should be able to do that so if you, if you want to see how to do to take your measurements or do it as a shirt or whatever else go to the last six minutes of this video i will demonstrate how you can do that okay so I will take my hips measurements it's 33 and then subtract two inches so 33 minus 2 is 31 my foundation chain will be 31 that is because i want to make it as a dress okay so we are going to make a slip knot and then i will chain a very long chain equivalent to my hips measurements minus two inches because I don't want it to be big, or, you know, it's like one block from top to bottom. It's, you know, so I don't want it to be too big. I want just it to be fit my hips slightly. And then, yeah, so hips measurements minus two inches. Mine will be 31 inches and I will see you once I have 31 inches. So the number of chains doesn't matter. Just chain until you have your hips measurements minus two if you want to adjust this into a shirt or someone else is what uh something to do for someone else then go to the last six minutes of this video i explained that there and showed you how you can adjust it so we are going to join the two ends together so we will make our chain straight first of all so that it is not you know yeah so make it straight it's facing one side and you're going to join the end to the start the end of the chain to the start of the chain okay so because we are going to be working in rounds and we are working from the bottom to the top so you need to measure yourself also how long you want your dress to be so you can also check that how i do that at the end of the video before you start okay so we are going to join into this very first chain here and slip stitch like this. So we are going to start working on the granny stitch. 
it is a modified one like i said so we are going to chain three and this chain three counts as a stitch so we are working only two stitches and so this is our first stitch in that very same stitch we are going to put our second stitch which is a double crochet we'll be skipping only one stitch in between so yarn over skip one chain and into the second chain you are going to make two double crochets so we are skipping only one chain in between and then making a cluster of two double crochets okay we are not putting any chains we are just skipping one chain in between and making a cluster of two double crochets okay yarn over skip one into the next one make two double crochets so it's going to be just like this no chains in between nothing we are just skipping one chain at the bottom and then into the second chain making two double crochets skip one into the next make two double crochets and this is going to be our pattern for our first row so just repeat this two double crochets skip one two double crochets in the next stitch so i'll meet you at the end so that we can close that round off all right so I'm coming to the end so I'm going to skip one and then in this one I make two double crochets and this is because by by chance I just have you know two stitches left but you could have three or whatever it doesn't matter once you get to the end just close it off okay so on top of that double uh, chain three that's where we close it off with a slip stitch okay on top of the chain three so we are going to chain three to start on our second round and we'll be turning our work after every round all right we'll be turning our work after every round so the chain three counts as a stitch right so you're going to yarn over turn your work and for round two chain three counts as a stitch so we are going to work in the between the clusters so this counts as a stitch in here i'm going to insert my second double crochet like i said chain three counts as a stitch so this is our second double crochet all right then yarn over in between the two clusters in the next make a cluster with two double crochets next space Two double crochets next space two double crochets so we are working in between the clusters we are not making any chains just going straight into the into it so you're going to do this it's quite easy by the way so you're going to just do this until you get to the end of the round and i'll meet you to show you how we close it off and how we start the next round it's quite easy we'll just be going round and round and round and round that's all well until we get to the part where we need to split but yeah all right i'll see you at the end of this round so i'm coming to the end of the round as you can see there is this one space only remaining here like this and a double crochet and a chain so we are just going to go straight on top of that chain three and close it off like this okay then we are going to chain three and then start all over again so turn my work chain three counts as a stitch so i go into this very first space between the chain and the first cluster and make a double crochet okay so two stitches and then go into the next space a cluster into the next space 
two double crochets. In the next space, two double crochets. So we are just going to keep repeating this until we have our height before we put the sleeves. So how do we know our height before we put the sleeves? Just measure from the top of your shoulder to where you want your dress to reach, right? And then you are going to subtract uh, a few inches. That's from the top of the shoulder to like the top of your boob. Not the top, like before you get to the middle of your boob. Or you can check the last six minutes and see how I did it. Okay. And then we will have that. Or you can just try on your dress as you crochet until it gets to where you, the top of your middle boob. Like three thirds of your boob. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Go to the last three minutes and check it out. And then we'll come to 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 change something. All right, so this is what I have so far. And I want mine to be 26 inches long, my dress, right? But I want my sleeve to be 7 inches wide, okay? Like from the top of my shoulder to the my underarm, 7 inches, all right? So this is why I have this. Now I'm going to determine the middle of my work. So from where I start from, to this other side then I'll put a stitch marker then we'll work the back of our shirt or our dress or whatever okay and then we'll come and cut this front part into two so that we have where to put our collar all right so I worked from my round from the side like how I would normally work and then to the side where I have my stitch marker so from one side to the other side okay and now I want to turn because I'm working the back part okay so I'll just finish it off to the to the to the side so we are working on the back part and the back part is just from one side to the other side okay so but we are not working in rounds anymore so I need to show you how to do that so this is my last cluster Okay, so we will be turning our work. And how are we going to do this? It's going to be a, a bit different from when we do rounds. So you'll chain three. It's the same principle, just not in rounds. So chain three and then turn our work. So just like we were doing before, we are working in the spaces. So I'll just go into this first space here and make two double crochets. So my first my first stitch is that chain, which is just one. And then my next stitch is a cluster. So I'm going to go into every space and make a cluster. That is two double crochets in every space. Two double crochets in every space. And then I'll meet you at the end to show you how we close of the row and how we begin a new one because it's also different okay i'll see you here that's where we started our row right all right so i'm coming to the end this is my last cluster but i have this double crochet and then the chain three so what I will do is I will make uh, one double crochet on top of that chain three. Okay. One double crochet on top of that chain three. Okay. This is how I'm closing it off. Okay. So now for the next row, it's going to be like our first row. It will be chain three. Turn our work. So my next row is going to be like the one before the first one. So this is my third row at, the, at this point. So it will be like the first one. So I'll go in between the double crochet and the first cluster and make a double crochet. So now I have two. Okay. Like this first one. So the, the first one and the second one are different. It's going to be a repeat of two rows. Okay. You see the difference it's it, it's quite you know you get it when you do it because you know it's not possible to do it otherwise <laughs> okay so 
if I end with a double crochet, then I start with, you know, with a chain and a double crochet. So anyway, I'll meet you at the end of this so that I show you how to finish it off. Okay, here. So I'm coming to the end of my third row. And like I said, the third is like the first. So what will we do? We'll go on top of the chain uh, three here and make a double crochet. Sorry, first we make a double crochet in the space and then a double crochet on top of the chain so that we just keep it straight. You can make two double crochets in the, sp in the space, but to keep it straight, just make it one on top of the, of the chain. Then it makes it straight. So what's next? You know what is next is chain three and then a double crochet in the two double crochets in the space here okay so it's just going to be this repeat this and then two double crochets in every space and you're just going to repeat this over and over again until you get to the inches that you want mine is seven okay so measure from the top or if you have a t-shirt just measure you know a, that the sleeve depth is it sleeve depth of your t-shirt or whatever and then those are the inches that you leave okay so this is what i have my seven inches i am done with the back so now I want to do the front. The front we are going to divide into two. However, we are going to leave four clusters in the middle. Four clusters in the middle. Okay. So we will leave four clusters in the middle and I'll put stitch markers. Okay. So one side should have the same number of, of clusters as the other side, leaving four in the middle okay and then put stitch markers and then we'll just work one panel and then once we are done we do the other panel so we are going to start here and i'll work till where i have my uh, stitch marker i have two stitch markers uh, because i have four clusters in between here then that's where we we'll put my collar okay we'll begin our collar so I'll work one panel first and then once I'm done, then I work the other panel, but I'm going to show you. It's the same thing as we did with the back panel, just these are smaller. So, but just to remind you how to start, you'll get your yarn and reattach it here because we are working, of course, on the wrong side, like how normally you would turn. So we'll start from here. So reattach it and I'm going to chain three which counts as a stitch and that very same uh, space I'm going to put a double crochet so now I'm going to go into every space with two double crochets until I get to where I have my stitch marker So number of clusters on one side should be the same number of clusters on the other side. So just work until you get to where you have your stitch marker. And then I'll show you how to start the next row. You already know how to do it. If you did the back panel, so it's the same, but yeah. So this is my stitch marker. So this is going to be my last cluster. Two double crochets. And then I'm going to chain two and chain three to start on the next row you can see those are my four clusters i'm leaving in the middle okay so we are going to turn our work after chaining three yarn over turn and then we work our first cluster in between those two clusters 
in this space here, we work two, class, two double crochets. And then I'll go ahead and work two double crochets in every space until I get to the end. So it's the same as the back, so I'm not going to show you everything. You already did it. So yeah, just work from side to side, side to side until you have the same number of rows as your back. Okay, so at the end, this is how we end the row two double crochets and then I have a double crochet and then a chain three so what I will do I'll just put a double crochet on top of the chain three just one double crochet on top of the chain three and then chain three and then start again so turn my work and then I'll work a cluster in between I mean I read this counts as a stitch so I'll work one double crochet between the double crochet and the first cluster like this okay and then I'll start on that two double crochets in every cluster I mean in every space why am I so tired all right so I'm supposed to have surgery on Thursday but I'm, I'm hoping I can postpone it yeah, I'm not ready for it. Anyway, um, just going to keep doing the same thing like we did with the back panel until you have the same number of, of rows as the back panel. Then you start on the second second panel, on, you know, from, from the where you have the stitch marker and I'll meet you once you have, you know. So this is me done with the first one. All right. So second one starts from here. To the other side and you're going to repeat the same i'll meet you when you have two so this is my two and we are now going to join them at the top and then yeah work work the sleeves after that so this is at night i'll see in the morning so while you were asleep i did the one side so i joined it at the top and then i joined uh, i put this ribbing on the on the sleeve but i'm going to show you exactly what i did with this other sleeve that i didn't do okay so this ribbing you can do without it but i think it adds like that beauty to it so don't skip it all right so we are going to join at the shoulder at the top first here so get your yarn needle you can join this using i'm going to turn this inside out okay so on the, on the wrong side you can join this using a darning needle or you can join using slip stitches it doesn't matter okay so i'll join using a needle oh. so I will just, you can use any method really that is easy for you. It doesn't really matter. Just get this join together. doesn't matter what method you're using. I will be using, um, I don't know what they call this method. You guys always tell me in the comment section, but I I always forget. No, I'll, come, I'll be coming from the inside to the outside. So like this. In every stitch, I go in from the inside. On one side and then in from the inside on the other side you just watch uh, you can use any method that you like to join with this doesn't really matter won't change anything so yeah whatever is comfortable for you Oh yeah, I said I was going for surgery. Yeah, I have a, a lamp in my breast that I need to take out and test it if it's dangerous or not. But 80% is definitely not dangerous. That's what they told me. So I need to have it removed. I was supposed to do it this Thursday, but yeah, I'm not mentally ready for it. So we postpone it, I guess. Anyway, do all the way to the end. And yeah, 
so once you're at the end just um finish it off and weave in your ends i am like the worst person to weave in weave in ends i hate it i don't know how to do it well i just do it anyhow least so yeah let me show you it's not the best it's like the worst but this is for me so i don't have to be like the make it so perfect or whatever because it's me wearing it anyway so yeah so within your ends cut it off and then you will do the same for the other side and then i can show you how to do the ribbing on the sleeve okay so this is the wrong side for me but it could be also your right side if you want it i think it's not bad and this is the right side for me. I think the wrong side even looks better. I don't know. Whatever. So we are now going to do the sleeve. So you go ahead and do the other side. And then you do the sleeve. Or you can do one at a time. So what we'll need to first clean it up a bit. So I'm going to do a row of single crochets all around our sleeve. Okay. So I'll start here at the very bottom, reattach my yarn, and then single crochet, chain one, make a single crochet in that very stitch where I reattached. And then this you're going to have to look because I don't know how to explain it. I'm putting two single crochets in every stitch in the big stitches because there are some tiny ones there I'm not working. So only in the big stitches. So just look, please. One and two. One and two. One and two. One and two. So I'm going to put two stitches in every stitch, the big stitches and i will just go all around this is just to give it that nice clean so it's it's easy to do the ribbing okay so go all around i'll meet you at the end and yeah we start on the ribbing okay here you can put two stitches and then yeah So I'm coming to the end. I went all around and this is going to be my last stitch here. And then on top of that very first single crochet, I will make a slip stitch. So for the ribbing, you can leave it like this if you want. It's not bad. But if you want to add a ribbing, then we are going to be using this stitch. So this stitch is really pretty. And it is a combination of single crochet and the yarn over slip stitch okay so i'm going to show you so the single crochet part is where is the right side and then the yarn over slip stitch is on the wrong side so i'm going to chain six stitches chains not stitching six chains okay and then we're going to start with a single crochet so skip off the first chain and into the second chain make a single crochet so you're going to make one single crochet in every stitch and i will have a total number of five single crochets like i said the single crochet part is the right side okay so this is the side that will be outside that's what i mean because it looks different on the inside all right so once i have my five single crochets i am i need to attach this to this side so what will you do this is where we started right with our chain leave that alone go into the next stitch and make a slip stitch and we are going to make slips two slip stitches so first slip stitch in this first stitch go into the next stitch here insert your hook make a slip stitch okay now we are going to it's two slip stitches so now we turn our work and we're going to work the yarn over slip stitch i've used this stitch before like 
in the last turtleneck sweater that I have. This is the stitch that I use. So you are going to, we are going to work only in the back loop. So you are going to yarn over. You're going to skip the slip stitches that you made, two of them. Skip two slip stitches, these two stitches here. And then into the third one, only in the back loop, we are going to work five slip stitch yarn overs, yarn over slip stitches. So this is yarn over. Skip these two into the third one pull through but then you slip stitching so you pull through two yarn over insert your hook in the back loop okay pull through put your thumb there and pull through two it's not a half double crochet please take a look it's like yarn over and then you slip stitch so until you have five okay and if this is hard for you just do single crochets i love the texture better of this but if, if you don't want to go through the struggle just make single crochets in the back loop same thing not same but you know chain one turn your work and we are now going to work a row of single crochet so we are alternating between single crochets and yarn over slip stitches so go into that very stitch one only in the back loop two three four and the fifth one is going to be not easy so it's like you know you have to look for it so five and then we attach it now okay so how do we attach it so these are five single crochets how do you attach it leave alone where you last attached so now the second the next one leave alone this now the very next one you're going to make a slip stitch that's one and then make your second slip stitch that's two and then yarn over and you're going to do yarn over slip stitches so yarn over and then you're going to skip the first two slip stitches that you made one two and then into the third that's where you work your first yarn over slip stitch like this i always put my thumb there that just to help with the grip otherwise it can be a little bit tricky to pull with your hook to pull through with your hook so and i know my nails are old but my nail take is like one hour away with the bus so that's two hours of wastage on the bus so yeah i hate going there but i will do my, for my next tutorial so don't worry about my nails so chain one turn your work and work five single crochets only in the back loop so you get the, the grip of it if if this is too small because i'm yeah wa working with um yarn that is not so big i have a turtleneck sweater the pink one i use this same technique so you can go and watch it and it has bigger yarn bigger hook so it's easier to see yeah so two slip stitches turn your work yarn over skip the first two two slip stitches and then into the third one make the yarn over slip stitch or is count because it's five otherwise you could make six or four and then it just doesn't look right so it should be five and yeah chain one repeat 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 all around until you get back to where you started okay this is how it looks i think it's a pretty stitch so why are you playing with this that is the wrong side all right so i went all around and came back and now we need to join it so uh i'm coming this is six five slip stitches so i'm going to slip stitch twice if you have one slip stitch remaining that's okay it doesn't matter really and uh, now we join it together so I'm joining on the wrong side so I'll just join in the back loop is it back loop or now now I call it the front rope so it's like the first rope facing me so I'm slip stitching uh, or 
all the way to the end. You can also join using a darning needle, doesn't matter really. And this is how it looks. So chain one, cut your work and weave in your ends. All right, so go ahead and do the other sleeve and I'll see you once you're done. So this is how it looks with two sleeves done. And now we need to do the collar. The collar is the same stitch pattern, but yeah. So we will do single crochets all around. First, we need to make it neat too before we do the ribbing. So do the single crochets and I'll meet you when you're done. It's the same thing we did with the sleeves, okay? So this is it. I am done and I want to make half of the rows. So I'm just going to count the rows and then cut them into half. So, and then put stitch markers there. Mine are an odd number. So my upper ones are eight rows and then my down ones are nine rows. So I'll just do it like that. But uh, count the number of rows that you have on this part and then divide it into two and then put stitch markers. So we are going to work first up to where we have a stitch markers and then put the bigger collar on the other side up. Okay, so. So let's start working on the collar and my collar is seven stitches. So I will just pull this through into this first uh, stitch here and then I'll work seven single crochets. So I'm working on the on the right side first. So I'll work seven single crochets. Okay. If you want to start working on the left first, then you'll start from you'll count seven stitches from the left to the right, and then start from the right, in, and then work towards the left, because we want that to be. I don't know. Doesn't make sense. I'm. I don't know. Anyway. So once I have seven, I chain one, turn my work. So now I'm going to work the yarn over slip stitch because this is the wrong side, okay? So yarn over slip stitch, I'll just go into that very first stitch here, leave alone the chain that I made and then make the yarn over slip stitch and I'll make seven of them. So this part of my collar will be on the inside because they're like interlo is it interlocking, overlapping each other. Okay. So this is like the inside and then the one on the left will be on the outside. So once I have my seven, then I need to attach this to this. So I'll make two sleeve stitches. It's the same like we did with the sleeves. And then turn my work. Only that now it's... Yeah. So skip the first two slip, st slip stitches and then make single crochets, seven of them all the way to the end. Like I said, what the single crochets are on the right side, like the side facing out, okay, where it looks better. That's the single crochet part. So once you have your seven, chain one, and turn your work, then work on the yarn over slip stitches, seven of them. Still, if you want, if the yarn over slip stitch is a difficult stitch for you, you can do single crochets on in the back loop. We are working only in the back loop, so this shouldn't stress you at all. So once I have seven, then I slip stitch twice in two stitches and then turn my work and then work single crochets, single crochets. 
skip two slip stitches until the third stitch work single crochets um, seven of them and you're just going to repeat this pattern until you get to where you have your stitch marker that's the middle part of your this panel and then i'll see you once you're done so chain one done and then work yarn over slip stitches seven of them same pattern over and over again so i'll see you once you are done with this side so that you can start on the other side because it's uh, i want to show you how it overlaps So I'm done with the first part and now I want to show you how to overlap it on the other side. Uh, you're going to count the same number of rows and put a stitch marker on that side too. Mm, that's eight. I need nine. Yeah, nine. So I put my stitch marker here. And then we're going to do the same thing, but we are starting, like I said, the right, the single crochets are on the right side. So we are starting from the right, working towards the left. So count seven stitches from the left to the right, first of all. So from here, this corner here, count seven stitches. seven and that's where i will begin so we are working over the first one for that very first row so i'm going to reattach my yarn here okay and then make a single crochet in that very same stitch And I'm going to make seven single crochets, those that's the first one. The first few that are overlapping are kind of going to be a little bit difficult, but yeah, it's nothing complicated. So yeah, once you have seven, you're going to make two slip stitches like this. Then you're going to turn your work and work the yarn over slip stitches. So you're going to skip the first two slip stitches and into the third one, you make the yarn over slip stitch. You already know how to do this. so. You already have the best so everything from here is same and easy so make seven yarn over slip stitches once you get to the end you're going to chain one turn your work and seven single crochets in the back loop That last one is always going to be a bit hard to see, but yeah. 
what am I doing? I need to attach this to. <laughs> Come on, don't chain one, but uh, make two slip stitches. And then turn your work. Skip two slip stitches and then into the third one. Make your yarn over slip stitch. Like I said, you can use a single crochet in the back loop for this. You don't need the yarn over slip stitch. It just looks a little bit better, I think, according to me. So you don't have to go through the hassle. The single crochet is also a very beautiful stitch. Okay, then chain one, turn your work, and you're just going to repeat the same thing. So seven single crochets, then two slip stitches, then skip two slip stitches, you then do the yarn over slip stitch and repeat, 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 repeat until you have you get to where you have your stitch marker. And once you do that, then we'll come back and make the longer part of the collar. Okay, so I will see you there. So I'm done with the two sides and this is how it looks. So I'm way up into the middle of the two panels or whatever. So I will remove my stitch markers and then now we're going to work the bigger side, the longer side. And for this, I want 20 stitches so that it's able to fold, you know, to fold like a collar. So you can make it longer if you like, but I did 20 stitches. So I chained 20. So that it's able to fold. So I'll add more stitches. I lost count. Do I have 20 or 21? I think I have 21. So I think I'm going to take off one. So we are going to use the same. Uh, now that we are folding to the we are folding it so the other side should be the right side so which means this first thing is the wrong side so since it is the wrong side we are first going to use the 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 yarn over slip stitch so that when we fold it then the other side is the right side i don't know if it makes sense but we are using the yarn over slip stitch first so skip one into the second chain make a yarn over slip stitch Go into the next chain, make a yarn over slip stitch, and I'm going to make yarn over slip stitches in every chain until the end. I should have a total number of 20. You can have 21, you can have 22, depends on what you like. If you want it longer, good for you, make it longer, okay? And also here you can use the, the single crochet back loop only. You don't have to use this stitch. Okay, so I'll see you when I have my 20 yarn over slip stitches. So I'm at the end and this is going to be my last one, my 20th. So like just like the, the one before, you're going to make two slip stitches. One and two and then we turn our work. And then once we turn our work, what are we going to work? We're going to work single crochets. So skip the first two slip stitches that you did. And then into the third stitch, you are going to make a single crochet. Now this is going to be the right side.
so i'm going to make a total of uh, 20 single crochets if you're skipping the right number of stitches then it will always be the same but if you skip one slip stitch instead of two or don't skip any then it's you're going to get to the end and you find you don't have the right number all right so just repeat the same thing it's the same pattern we've done it over and over again just go all around go here go up go down and then go all the way back to here okay so once you're done this is how it looks like i really yeah like it uh, yeah so i hope you like it too so i'm now going to tell you about those who want to change it this is how you take the measurements all right so for example if i want if you don't know your measurements and you don't know how to measure them this is how you measure hips measurements take your tape measure wrap it around your hips and yeah then you have your hips measurements right if you don't have a tape measure or you're making for somebody else go into google google hips measurements for every size it will give you for medium for large for extra large extra extra large it will give you in inches in centimeters whatever you like please just use google or chat gpt very easy okay mine is 33 and that is what i worked with all right so if you want to make it short then you're going to take your bust measurements or maybe your belly is bigger than your bust i don't know biggest part of your body up there so take those measurements and you don't want it to be so tight so just wrap it around and leave a few inches two inches three inches depending on how not tight you want it to be leave some room okay so it's that easy just depends on you know your preference you want it bigger or smaller i don't know take your bust measurements and leave some room around there a few inches and yeah then that will be your foundation chain okay uh, so it shouldn't be hard right so just do that or if you have a t-shirt take a t-shirt and use the same measurements on your t-shirt okay so same thing like if you want to make it for your kid your husband your boyfriend a customer uh, yeah so for the length of the sleeve i took from top of my shoulder to around this part of my boob it's like just above my boob and then for the height from the top of my shoulder this would be if i wanted to make a t-shirt up to there or i want to make a dress up to there this is how you know the height of your dress just measure from the top of your shoulder all the way to where you want it to be okay so depends so if for example if i wanted to make it for my husband and i don't have his measurements this is his t-shirt right i just foundation chain i'll measure from one side of t-shirt to the other side of a t-shirt of course it's 19 and then because we are working around that will be twice of that and that will be 38 inches this would be my foundation chain just by measuring from his t-shirt he's a size large so length up to the sleeve i would go all the way to where his sleeve starts and that's where i would start the, the to split right so and uh, so if uh this is the length and then i want to make all the way this would be the length it's the same as my dress wow <laughs> this is as long as my dress so yeah so the sleeve would be like 10 inches mine was seven inches his will be around 10 inches because that's what his t-shirt says and he's a size large so splitting here in the middle is nine inches but we are doing same length as the sleeve so which is 10 inches one inches will not hurt you one inch will not hurt you so yeah easy as that and if you don't have a t-shirt to measure on go to the mall take your tape measure window shopping take a t-shirt measure it and put it back in the stand that's it so anyway i hope you like it i like this dress so much it's i cannot wait to wear it in the summer it's just looks nice i love the, the color everything the yarn is so silky and nice so everything and if i style it as a t-shirt but this is the actual dress i just style it as a t-shirt by the way and it looks amazing i even love this look even more it just looks 
casual sophisticated in you know casual but sophisticated so i just love it so thank you so much for watching please leave a like share comment and follow me on social media social media it's a secret show me all the things that you've made i like to see them and yeah i'll see you in the next tutorial uh yeah thank you so much bye